today in White Trash. To be so like pro woman and all the bullshit, you're not. Brittany Aldean addresses her feud with singer Marin Morris. Oh, shut up, Brittany. You know Jason cheats on you all the time. The wife of country star Jason Aldean speaks out about the two-year-old drama between herself and the Grammy winner in a new episode of the Try That in a Small Town podcast. Of course, you would you would name your podcast after your husband's most famous song. Nobody would ever go, oh, my God, what is Brittany Aldean's podcast like? No one even knows who you are. But because you're married to a very famous guy with a controversial, very racist song with racist undertones, um, it's easier to find. You're a scumbag. On the pod, Brittany claims she was targeted by Marin and her friends. Mm. Her and her, like, she's got a group of friends here. Oh, I love how this woman leans on the right, but then is triggered, but then says that all liberals are triggered. I love that about Republicans is that they say, oh, all the liberals get triggered and then they're the ones that get triggered the most her and her like she's got a group of friends here in nashville that they just mm. have it out for me for whatever reason which to be so like pro woman and all the bullshit, you're not yeah. because i've never said a word to you and you come for me why because i'm an easy target because i'm a yeah you are an easy target you're annoying wife and i don't have a stage as a platform but i have social media like for some reason you don't have a stage. You're doing a podcast named after your husband's most famous song, one of the biggest songs of this decade in the country music genre. Shut the hell up, dirty rotted imbecile. The reason I offend them, I don't know what it is. They had spoken about me on Twitter months, months, months in advance before any of this oh, happened. Really? Yes, so this that. was not the first time. In case you missed it, the two had an online spat after Britney posted this getting ready video in 2022, captioned, I'd really like to thank my parents for not changing my gender when I went through my tomboy phase. I love this girly life. Oh my God, why does every single conservative person, especially in the country music genre, always have to rip into the transgender movement it doesn't affect you if you're so confident in your body who the hell cares i don't get it when i worked at this religious radio job for six months it was what i heard about every single day every single second it was good money but my god is life too short and then if i were to say i don't want to talk about them but i'm just saying it's like who cares how does it affect you Marin issued a scathing response on X. Think about it this way. My dad was like, wait till marriage, and I don't want you listening to the radio, and I don't want you watching adult cartoons. I have a high body count. I'm never getting married. I got a vasectomy, and um, I still watch Adult Swim before bed every night on HBO Max. Yes, I'm going to call it HBO Max. And um, I don't believe in God. Whenever these religious people force it on you, shut up. Formerly... Twitter writing, it's so easy to like not be a scumbag human, sell your clip-ins and zip it, Insurrection Barbie. <laughs> oh, I love this. In the new podcast, Brittany denies that her comments were transphobic. She also- Of course they were. You're saying, I'm glad my parents didn't transition me when I'm going through a tomboy phase. You could have said, hey, I went through a tomboy phase. Who would have thought I'd be a hot blonde that's married to a- Singer that cheats on me all the time because I'm probably pretentious. Says she thinks the Humble Quest singer was not being a good feminist. So she called me that and then she started to make fun of my business, which at the time was um, hair extensions. Oh, wow. That's really innovative. <laughs> I don't care how pretty you are. You're annoying. But to me, it's like, once again, going back to the feminist movement, right? Like, aren't you supposed to be out peace, love and all? And yeah, but then you're ripping into other people. If you're about peace, well, why are you ripping into transgender people, douche? Inclusivity and all the things. Like, why are you coming for me like that about my... She, I love when people on the right claim that everyone's attacking them when they attack other people. Because they so believe that A, the Bible is true, and that B, everything they say is the gospel. God, it's the worst. And I don't like liberals either, but my God business i don't need to work i choose to work oh and i love whenever you debate somebody who's really religious and they go well do you go oh my god do you say oh god and i go yeah and they go well you believe in god no it's just something that i've heard since 1993 when i was born doesn't mean i believe in god let's do that too like i right. i'm a working woman who doesn't have to who wants to provide for my children oh that's we're so proud of you you're a working woman. Oh, I bet your company would be so successful if it wasn't for your husband. You're, you're so different than every other blonde that sells hair ex extensions. Oh, if you were such an independent woman, you wouldn't need to name your song 
or your podcast after your husband's most famous song. In my family, and that should be something to be proud of, like mm. not put down. Yeah. E! News has reached out to Marin's rep for comment, but did not immediately hear back. Why Elsewhere on the podcast, Brittany reiterates her stance on gender-affirming care, stating she doesn't think children under the age of 18 should be able to choose their gender. She also says she's in... Well, if the parents sign off on it, go ahead. Happy hour. Happy hour.